Government is good in the right hands. That citizens go to the polls, isn't that their assumption? That the person or party they are voting for will wield the reins of power for the benefit of all. That in the right hands, government will put a chicken in every pot, every person in a home, stop the rise of the oceans, and bring us all to nirvana. If we just had the right people in charge, peace and harmony would flow like milk and honey throughout the land. It is an idea, a base political philosophy, that people in all countries all over the world believe, and it has produced nothing but misery and slavery. From Western democratic socialism to Muslim theocracy to communism to lone despots, the philosophy is the same. People assume that it is the task of government to make them happy, prosperous, and safe, and the right government has the ability to do so. So through voter revolution, they place men and women far above them, giving them the power to play God with their lives. How dehumanizing. A few are elevated in the belief that they are smarter and more capable of running the lives of the masses than the individuals themselves. Somehow they are endowed with the wisdom to know what is best for each and every individual under their rule. The masses look to them expectantly, hope and fealty in their uplifted faces. When placed in such a position, of course the ruler will come to believe in his or her own infallibility, assume any restraints on the actions of government are detrimental to their ability to carry out their task, and that any and all means justify the end goal they themselves have determined is worthy. The masses believe they cannot be trusted to run their own lives, and their decision-making is suspect at best. They are to assume the best of government, while those in government assume the worst of them. The masses are ignorant, unable to be trusted to make decisions about their lives, property, or safety. The people reduced to sheep, to be sheared or slaughtered, according to the wishes of the rulers. Neither leaders nor led are human anymore. The rulers have become gods, and the ruled mere chattel. We have forgotten the foundation for all government, coercion, the use of force to compel behavior. The use of force by an individual is only moral when it is in self-defense, protecting one's life or property. Government, legitimate government, is an extension of that individual right to self-defense. If an individual uses force against another to kill or steal, we label it wrong, and rightly so. However, when government uses force to kill or steal, somehow we see it as different. We don't see the equivalence between the mugger who steals our wallet and the IRS stealing our paycheck. People who put government on a pedestal will soon find themselves under its heel. Too many believe that progress consists of extending the realm of government compulsion. This is the antithesis of liberty. As Americans go to the polls over the next few months, and any time any man or woman has the opportunity to vote, seek not an active government of gifts and threats, Seek only those who will protect rights, no less and no more.